Hi, my name is Daniel Grun, and I'm a member of the Dark Energy Survey Collaboration. In this video, I'd like to show you the deep images we have taken of a special galaxy cluster, Max J0416, in our last few nights of observations at the Blanco Telescope in Chile. The Dark Energy Survey started out by building one of the most powerful digital cameras ever made, the Dark Energy Camera, and installing it on that telescope. When we point our telescope at the sky and take a picture with the dark energy camera, this is what it looks like. Or actually, this is what it looks like when we take three pictures, one of red, green and blue light each, and combine them to make a color image. Each rectangle is its own CCD chip with 8 megapixels. We have 62 of these CCDs installed, so we can take a high resolution image of a large region of the sky. By comparing this region to the size of the full moon, you can appreciate how large it actually is. Only by getting such a large image in one single shot, the Dark Energy Survey has been able to observe a large part of the southern sky over its six years of operations. There are gaps between the CCDs and holes at the positions of the bright stars that we have cut out from this image, and one and a half of our CCDs are currently out of order. But these holes in the image are not a huge problem, because we can take multiple shots of the same patch of the sky, moving the telescope a bit each time to fill them. When we do that, this is what it looks like. Besides filling the gap, the other advantage of taking multiple images is that we can collect the light from a field in the sky for a longer time. In our wide field survey, we have spent about an hour on each patch. For the cluster Max J0416, we spent more than 10 hours looking at the same place in the sky to get this very deep image. If you zoom out like this, you actually mostly see the stars in that region of the sky. The dots, sometimes with a horizontal streak that occurs when a star is so bright that our camera gets flooded with its light. But if you zoom in, you begin to see that there is much more to this image. Most of the faint fuzzy dots here are distant galaxies. They are much further away than the stars in our Milky Way, some of them half the way across the observable universe, and each contains billions of stars of their own. At the center of this image, you see the galaxy cluster Max J0416. All the fuzzy yellow blobs are galaxies that belong to this cluster. Max J0416 is one of the most extreme clusters we know. It's actually multiple clusters colliding and merging into one over the course of billions of years. This shows that structure in the universe isn't constant, but growing over time. Because Max J0416 is such a special cluster, many other telescopes have looked at it before. And that's actually the reason we made these deep observations. We can use those other data at different wavelengths to calibrate the measurements in our full survey and learn even more from them about the universe. In its full survey, DES has measured tens of thousands of galaxy clusters and hundreds of millions of galaxies. It has taken us about 600 nights of observations over six springs and summers in Chile to make an image of our full survey region. More than 400 scientists worldwide are working together to collect and analyze this gigantic image. You can see how it is assembled from single shots with our telescope in this animation by the people who process our images. Now that we have finished observations, this data will allow the best measurements ever of how structure is growing in the universe. We hope to use those to understand better how the universe works, or maybe to find something unexpected. Stay tuned, as we will keep you posted on our results.